What's up, this is GM, and before I start, I want to tell you about TubeBuddy. In case you don't know, TubeBuddy is a free website that will help you manage and grow your YouTube channel. Thanks to them, some of my videos even show up as top results. Want to give them a try? Check the description below for the link. Today's product is Tautronics Dehumidifier. So in the box, we have the dehumidifier, a power cord, a drain hose, user guide, and a quick start guide. So I'll start by going over some general info, then going into my thoughts on it with a final pros and cons list. So first off, it is Energy Star certified, which means it'll have a very low energy consumption. It removes up to 50 pints of moisture in the room, as large as 4,500 square feet. It has humidity and temperature sensors to maintain humidity in a range of 45% to 55%, or you can set it on a continuous mode as well. You can attach a hose to drain the tank. It has auto timer, overflow protection for when the six liter water tank is full. It has four wheels for easy mobility, a washable air filter, and it weighs around 41.7 pounds. So keep that in mind when ordering, especially if you need to have it placed somewhere specific when you have it delivered. So let's start by just taking a quick look at the product. So here we have the front of it. Down here you have the water level gauge. I will go ahead and flip this around as well. So on this side, there's nothing really to see. You can see though that there is a handle right here and down here is one of the spots where you'd put your hand so that way you can open it up. I'll go ahead and flip it to the other side. Over here we have the fan and here is the other hand spot where you would pretty much just open the bottom and here is the other spot for where you would want to lift it from. And now we've got the back. As you can see, we have the filter right here. I'm going to take it off to show you. So this is washable right here. And to put it back in place, you just want to click it. There we go. And then down here, you can open this for a tube. You can also set one up there. Here we have the power cable. And this piece right here is to wrap the cable around. That will be inside of the tank itself. So you want to make sure you take that out and install it. No problem though. It's very simple to do. All right. So here we have a top view. I was going to plug it in and show you the different buttons. However, the thing about plugging it in is that it is very loud. So if I was to do that, you probably wouldn't be able to hear me. So I will leave it unplugged. Just keep in mind that the wire for the power is going to be a three prong. So keep that in mind. If you are looking for using it in a specific area, you want to make sure that you have an outlet that is three prong. So let's go ahead and look at this little display here. We have the LED display up here. We have an auto pump drain mode. We have a comfort mode. We have the filter button. And this one, it just, I believe, turns on when the filter needs to be cleaned. We have a continuous mode, so that way the dehumidifier will continuously run. A turbo mode, and when you turn this on, the fan will run very, very quickly, so keep that in mind. And then of course you have a timer and then you can use these to change the humidity settings uh, as low as 35% and as high as 85% or for if you are trying to set a timer, you can set it between zero hours and 24 hours. Then you also have the indicator lights, which will be up here for on and off. And you will have a defrost, which pretty much when, def when the frost builds up on the evaporator coil, the internal compressor will turn off and the fan will continue to run until the frost has melted. One more thing I wanted to mention is the spacing you're going to need when placing this. So when you're putting this in a room, you want to make sure that the left side, which has the fan, has to be at least 15.7 inches away from anything. Then on this side, it only needs to be about 8 inches away. The back side is also about 8 inches. And then going towards like any corner has to be at least eight inches, which of course won't be any issues as long as this is eight inches and this is eight inches. Uh, just keep in mind though, this side has to be almost 16 inches because of the fan and you don't want to be blocking the fan in any way. So I just wanted to give my final pros and cons list for this item. So pros include it being Energy Star certified, removes up to 50 pints and works on such a large space. It also has the auto drain ability, a timer function. The only real con I can really see is the size and weight, which, you know, it is pretty large and it does weigh quite a bit. However, that's to be expected considering how much water it can hold and how powerful it really is. That's it for this video. Link to the product is in the description below. If you found the video helpful, I'd love it if you could leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave a comment below as well. Thank you for watching.